What sort of bizarro world is this? I don't know, Zoe. But it is clearly a fantastical world where the laws of logic and causality do not apply. Like Alice in Wonderland? Well, let me put it this way, Zoe. If we should encounter Johnny Depp fudder wapping, then I'll know we're in deep shit. Oh my god! The Minotaur! <coughs> and Medusa! I knew I should have spent that extra tenor on the God of War 3 strategy guide. Okay, Zoe. When I say run, run! And when I say walk, walk! And when I say saunter, you bloody well saunter! Halt! Not so fast. Get your hands above the heads. For I am... Zakakas! The who? Zakakas! You will be once I'm done with you! Hiya! <laughs> Do you submit? Yeah, yeah, I submit. Good. Now bark like the dog that you are. Woof, woof. Good doggy. Now take us to your master. Congratulations, doctor. You have passed all of our tests. My masters have deemed you worthy. Who are you? And why have you brought us here? I am the great Stephen Moffat. Head writer of Doctor Who. Of what? Doctor Who. The science fiction series that you and your friends inhabit. Wait a moment. Are you telling me that we are also fictional characters? Just like every other inhabitant of this world? I'm afraid so. But you have no idea how important you are to my masters. These masters of yours. Who are they? I dare not speak their name. Says here property of the BBC. No! Do not speak those accursed letters! Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Why are they keeping you here? Well, it all started on that fateful day in April 2010, when I single-handedly transformed Doctor Who from a cultural phenomenon to the most watched series in the history of mankind. To keep the show going for as long as possible, they imprisoned me here and stripped my fertile imagination for every idea they could. The same imagination that produced such memorable creations as the Vashta Narada, the Weeping Angels, and of course Professor Riversong. I have been held captive here for centuries, with even my most basic human rights ignored. Hell, they won't even empty my catheter bag. Oh, I should never have turned down that offer from Spielberg to write the other two Tintin movies. But now, thanks to you, Doctor, all of that is about to change. Why? What have I got to do with this? Well... After reading my latest story about a planet populated by killer vacuum cleaners, my masters finally decided to find a replacement. And who better to take over as the head writer of Doctor Who than the Doctor himself? So, you want me to not only be the star of my own series, but write it as well? Precisely. It'll be just like Seinfeld, only with less quirky humour and more bug-eyed monsters. Right, now it all makes perfect sense. Fuck off and die, you old fart! I won't do it! Choose your next move carefully, Doctor. Your friends' lives might depend on it. Zoe! Push! I can't! It's too strong! What is this? What book is that? Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. You inhuman monster! Okay, okay. I'll do what you want. Congratulations, Doctor. You are now directly hooked up to the Master Brain. Oh, you imbecile. You have just served me the means to defeat you on a silver platter. Oh, bollocks. Jamie, Zoe, concentrate on my voice. Fight back. Free yourselves from the world of sparkly vampires and Mormon insanity. Fight! Fight! Uh, but then, their escape was thwarted by the sudden appearance of the carcass. Their fate was sealed as he drew his disintegrator gun. But then the gun suddenly transformed into a harmless... Uh, 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 monkfish! Ha! Beat that! And then, completely out of the blue, came the famous swordsman, poet, and inspiration for the movie Roxanne, Serrano de Bergerac! But his swordsmanship was no match for the legendary musketeer, D'Artagnan! <laughs> no, you cretins! I said D'Artagnan! Sharing everything with fun, that's the way. I 
see your black beard, and I raise you Sir Lancelot. Overload. Warning. Pop culture overload. This master brain control unit has encountered a problem and needs to close. Would you like to send an error report? Oh my giddy aunt! There's only one way out of this nightmare for us! I know! Let's click our heels together and chant, There's no place like home! No, Zoe. That's the most retarded thing I've ever heard. Then what? It looks like the writer will have to press the reset button. Okay.